So this is a continuation of my exploration on making bracelets with O-rings. Now these are rubber washers that are used uh, for plumbing. You can get them in any hardware store or order them on Amazon. And this video is also inspired by Connie who had previously made a bracelet with O-rings using jump rings. So what you're going to need for this project are your tools. I'm using 20 gauge tinned copper wire. You can use any wire. The O-rings I'm using are actually 3 quarter inch. I'm using 10 millimeter jump rings, 3 millimeter metal crimp beads. You can use any beads and a 8 millimeter miracle beads. To start we're going to attach the beads to the o-ring. You're going to take about a two inch piece of wire. Make sure you cut it flush on the end and you want to take your round pliers and just form a little loop. So just bring it around and then what we want to do is just bend this back so it has that kind of configuration and then you're just going to open it up put the o-ring in there and then close it up. If it's easier use your flat pliers to close it up. And then what you want to do is take your beads. So we have the three millimeter. It's like a crimp bead but you can use any bead. I just like it because it's metal. We're going to use our eight millimeter miracle bead and then another of the three millimeter beads and then that's going to attach to the other side. The easiest way to do this is just to clip the end so it's like about half an inch maybe a little bit more and then we're going to take our round pliers and then hold it here bend it back and then just form the loop around and this, gonna, this is going to loop right around the o-ring so slip it in there and then if it's easier just use your flat pliers just to bring it in. Okay so it's going to be closed up so you have it attached at either side and you're just going to make sure that it's nicely centered. So make sure this circle doesn't get distorted. If it gets stretched out that means your beads are too big and you might have to use smaller beads and uh, also make sure these loops are even. Uh, sometimes if there's too much space here again that's going to st get stretched out of the place. So the first few you may, might be a little tricky but after that you'll get the hang of it. So once you have a bunch of these done we're going to attach them with jump rings. So you'll take the jump ring, you're going to open it up, take your piece, slide it onto the piece, Take another one, put it on the other side of that wire, close it up and then flip it around. Take another one, open it up and now what we want to do is put it on the other side. So this is on one side of the wire. We're going to put that on the other side and attach it to this one on the other side and we're going to close that up and there you have what it's going to look like and we're going to attach them all together and the number that you need is going to depend on the size of your wrist. I have very small wrists so maybe about six you might need about seven and it also depends on what size o-rings that you've decided to use because you can do this design with any size o-ring that you want actually. So we're going to stick that one on here and then you'll see it makes a really cool chain and we'll just keep attaching them. So once you have all your o-rings together you're going to have to add a clasp. So we're going to take a couple more of these larger jump rings and attach them on either side here and we'll attach one side to a part of the clasp. It's like a little split ring. So whatever you have for a clasp is good. And then we're going to take the other jump ring and stick it to the other side of that wire there. Stick it in here and then also put it into 
the jump ring, put it the right way there, go there. So we have one side. So for the lobster clasp, I'm first going to put a jump ring into the end of the lobster clasp here and just close it up. And then I'm going to take the bracelet back and put one of the larger jump rings in there and attach it to one side of the o-ring and then we want to get another larger jump ring open it up put it to the other side of where that bead is and then just hold this in a way that it's going to go in the right way so hold that that goes that way bring that up from underneath and close it up and there you have your bracelet with a little ring and a clasp. If you need to add extra jump rings on there to make it longer, that's not a problem at all, but I have very thin wrists, so I just kept it to a minimum. There's our finished bracelet, and it's nice and dangly and looks super funky with the jump rings. If you do wanna make matching earrings, you can put two or three of these pieces together and then get some jump rings. They could be slightly smaller and put this at the top and then add another jump ring to that so we'll just close that up and then put one to the other side of where the bead is so we'll take that one hook it on we'll have to loop it into that same jump ring and then close it up and we'll open up our earring hook and we'll just hook it into that little jump ring so we're going to just close that one up there so here are the finished earrings. I used two o-rings for each one. You could use three if you want. You could use different sizes. And as for the bracelet, I used a 10 millimeter jump rings to attach the rings together. These are six millimeter at the top and the top jump ring is five millimeter. And you see it goes super nicely with the bracelet. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and wire jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you want to sign up below, I'll send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.